Hi, my name is Dean Lingley and I'm with Energy Management Systems and today I'd like to show you a little demonstration here on how the Energy Miser will help lower your electric consumption and also make your home safer. So I'm going to turn on the power to my kilowatt meter here and we're going to, what this kilowatt meter will show you is the volts, the amps, the wattage, and the power factor. Okay? So now I'm going to turn on this quarter horsepower electric motor. It's a standard uh, furnace fan motor. It's rated at 5 amps. Now let's go, and, and, and and when I turned that on, uh, we noticed that the, the EMF reading from our, our meter here is 40, high 40s, okay? What is an EF hem? An EMF is a electromagnetic, stands for electromagnetic field. It's electromagnetic fields are emitted from all electric wires and electric appliances. They're invisible uh, clouds kind of around each appliance and wires. You just can't see them. Okay, let's go over here and look at our numbers with this uh, electric motor running. Our volts are the same there, about 122. This motor is drawing 5.2 amps or so. The wattage is 174 and that computes to a power factor of 0.27. Now we're going to turn on the energy miser got a little switch here on the end or you can turn it on and then let's go back to the kilowatt meter and see what the results are voltage is the same now the motor is drawing 3.45 amps or so so there's a decrease there that's where you get your savings on your electric bill because this motor is running the same RPMs doing the same work with less electricity, drawing less electricity. And it does not affect the amps, the amps are the same. Watts. I mean the watts are the same. And the power factor computed here now is 41% instead of 27%. Okay. And then let's look at our EMF meter. And it has went down to a safe 16. Uh, your, your reading on your EMF, so you want that less than 75 to be, uh, to be more safe. Um, now we are going to turn off the, the motor, we'll unplug it, turn the energy miser back off, goes back up, and let's, let's look at what a light bulb will do to different light bulbs will do to the EMFs. The meter that I'm using here is an Ecotech uh, EMI monitor. It's measuring harmful EMFs that are uh, being emitted from the wires and the, and the electric appliances. Used to be everybody had these incandescent light bulbs in their house, okay? And then a few years ago, they came out with these new energy-saving fluorescent curly Q bulbs, and there's a there's a there's a cost for everything. These new bulbs are lower wattage, give off the same amount of light, but the cost is they emit EMFs. Let's see what kind of EMFs this is going to emit here when we turn this on. Turn that light bulb on, see immediately the, the EMFs jump up to above 250. Okay, now we're going to turn the energy miser on. When we turn the energy miser on, boom, the, the filters in that energy miser filter them harmful EMFs out and it's down below 20. Okay, and remember I said we want it below 75, so we're, we're pretty darn safe here. Uh, even newer, they've came out with these LED light bulbs. Let's see what the LED light bulbs do to the 
EMF meter. Turn that on. Uh, whoops, I forgot to turn the energy miser off. There, the energy miser's off. We turn the LED light on. Uh, as you can see, there's not any difference in the, the EMF reading. But now let's turn on the energy miser again. And bang, back down below 20 it goes. Um, how the energy miser does its work is there are there is capacitors inside of it that absorb the spikes whenever whenever uh, electricity comes into your house there's spikes and valleys in it it's not e it's not even the energy miser has capacitors in there that absorb those spikes let them go back evenly into the line for your electric use and 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 it's more efficient use of the electricity the electricity is not being wasted that's how they 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 save you money um, speaking of money let's look at some electric bills here let's look at some electric bills here um, Here's one we have, this is the first bill that I got whenever I, uh, after I had my energy misers plugged in for 30 days. Um, it was less kilowatt usage than last year's same month, a couple hundred less, which is, it was 16% less by the figures here, and um, that's where you're going to save your money. Second bill. I saved 13.5% on my electric consumption. Here's a bill from Tennessee, gentleman down in Tennessee. His first month usage was 23.1% less compared to the same month last year, which saved him $28.29. He was so impressed that here's his mother's bill. He bought his mother a a energy miser set of energy misers and put them in her house so that she could start saving also these energy these energy misers make great gifts it's the gift that keeps on giving because you're gonna save money for uh, the life of the product forever how how long are you gonna use electricity how much longer in your life are you gonna use electricity quite some time I would guess um, here's another electric uh, Bill from up in Iowa, a gentleman up in Iowa, the savings here computes to 29.5%, which computes to $46.58 savings. Here's another one, uh, another one from Iowa, 29.5% less kilowatt hours used, saving $35.25. All these 20 and 10 and 20 and 30 dollars is mount up over time. Might not sound a lot like a lot to you, but if you do the figuring, um, if you save ten dollars a month, that's 120 dollars a year. That's a 40 percent return on your investment from the energy miser. Uh, twenty dollars. Uh, if you save twenty dollars a a month. Then over a period of 204 or over a period of 12 months, you're going to save $240, which is 80% return on your investment. And $30, 36, 360 is 120% return on your investment. Where else are you going to get that kind of return on your investment? Um, then if you take that and you invest that at 10%. Over a 15-year expected lifetime of the energy miser, that computes to 4,000 and 8,000 and 12,000. Pretty impressive. Um, plus, you're making your home safer. You're reducing the harmful EMFs in your home. Um, here's a little diagram on how the energy miser does what's supposed to. In review, it absorbs the spikes and valleys, evens them out, use the, the energy miser absorbs them, lets them go evenly so that you have 
consume a less electricity. Um, is there any questions? Um, <clears throat> you know, yesterday, Dean, you were at the energy conference yes, at Lakeland, yes, yes, yes. where Ed Beckley was there, who is well known, has you know reputation for saving energy and so forth. And mm -hmm. He was the keynote speaker. Mm -hmm. Do you want to kind of elaborate on a couple of things that he said in regard to investment? Yes, Ed Begley had a, an idea that it makes lots and lots and lots of sense. Most people can't afford to, say, to uh, spend the big money it takes for, for energy saving windows, double pane windows, and, and, and um, geothermal units for their home, and, and, and heat pumps, and uh, in, uh, lots of insulation in your attic. But what he, his idea was, start with the little things and use the savings to build up and buy the bigger things. So with the Energy Miser, saving these, this 10 and 20 and $30 a month, that mounts up to, over the years, 4000 8000 12000 Then you'd have enough to pay for your windows. That's what Ed's idea was, and I think it's a real good one. Um, I'm just about done here. Um, if you want more information or order an energy miser, you can simply go to your web browser and type in bit.ly forward slash s a v e k w h s, and that'll take you right to my website. There's a couple. There's a contact tab on the website. If you have any questions, you can sure email me, and uh, I'll be sure to find an answer for you if I don't know it. I appreciate your time and uh, everybody have a good